this tutorial I want to talk about the difference between editing an individual clip and editing the whole track. By default an audio channel in the timeline here is set up to show you individual clip options. So if I just go into this clip here and I'm going to zoom in a bit so we can see this clip a bit more clearly you'll see that at the moment I've got this clip and it's showing me that I am going to be adjusting the volume level so this yellow line is going to be affecting the volume level of this particular clip not all the clips around it just this individual clip and I can if I want change other things so I can make a bypass in other words go past it go around it I can change it from right and left and change the panner I can do all kinds of other bits and pieces and make this yellow line do all sorts of other bits and pieces if I wish but at the moment I'm just affecting the clip and I've got a little drop down here with this keyframe option and underneath where it says show clip keyframes if I actually created keyframes to edit this which we'll be doing a bit later on I would see the clip keyframes that I created regardless of what I chose so if I decided I wanted to do the panner instead I can change the right and left movement by animating this line so it goes from the right speaker to the left speaker from the left speaker to the right speaker and I see the keyframes here but I could as well just go to show clip volume it gets rid of any options to accidentally select the wrong thing and start animating the wrong thing so when I work on this if I have any keyframes this line is purely the volume of the individual clip so I'm just going to pull out so that we can see beyond the end of that and you'll see that the yellow lines finish at the end of each individual clip and I can go in and I can select each individual clip as I wish and at the moment the only option I have is to change the volume on the clips but if I do want to get in there and change the panning options I can then get in and go to the individual clip that I want zoom into it and then change it from volume to panning if I want to and then that line is affecting panning so that's how you can actually change individual clips and that is the default behavior it actually comes in like that so you can choose other things than volume however 99 times out of 100 what you're usually interested in is volume and if you want to avoid accidentally selecting the wrong thing just leave that at volume but that's volume for the individual clips so you can set the clips up if they're not quite balanced if they're not quite right you can go in and make changes to the clips but sometimes what you really want to do is change the whole track all of the clips together as one and you'll see that this drop down here then goes on to show track keyframes and show track volume which is very similar approach if I do show track keyframes you'll see firstly all of the clips are greyed out and the yellow line goes beyond the end of the clips showing me that this particular line is going to universally affect all the clips in the same way and I have an option not a lot of options but you'll see here I have got can volume or I can mute and I've also got a panner so I can actually pan so I can change the options that I have and once again usually it's more about volume than anything else so again you'll see with a drop down here that says show track volume and now this line here is going to affect the volume of the whole track and is directly linked to up here in the audio mixer channel one so if you look where this yellow line is and I'm now going to pull this volume all the way down to infinity and let go you'll see it jumps down to infinity and if I hover over it you'll see that it is down to infinity if I pull it all the way up to the top to plus six you'll see it's popped up straight straight to the top and you'll see that's at plus six and if I double click the slider it goes back to zero and that yellow lines pop back to zero now there are automation modes animation modes which we're going to be talking about a bit later on which allow us to animate this line over time and then when you have it on this option down here when we're looking at track keyframes and track volume all the keyframes you'll see on here are to do with how this panner is moving not on what you have done to the individual clips so it all depends what you want to do the default behavior is to give you as much option as possible to get into the individual clips and change lots of other bits and pieces however usually what you want to do is either stick with volume for the individual clips or in actual fact animate the volume of the whole track and you can either do it with automation modes live or you can physically go in and create keyframes and make it louder and quieter as you go through on a point-by-point -point basis down here in the timeline 
The other thing about clips and tracks are about audio effects. Now audio effects are also applied on a clip and a track basis and I'm going to show you a bit more about audio effects in the next tutorial.